Hi, I'm Brownfield anchor reporter Brent Barnett, and this is Managing for Profit on Brownfield, a content partnership with John Deere. We're excited to learn more about John Deere equipment and technology and how it's helping folks on their operations. Today I'm in Northwest Missouri talking with farmer Jordan Bodiger, who uses John Deere equipment. Jordan, uh, you're no stranger uh, to me. We've been friends for quite some time. Uh, yes, sir. You know, you might just tell the listeners first off more about your operation you have here in northwestern Missouri. Um, so we're from Union Star, Missouri. We um, farm about 1,800 acres of corn and soybeans. Um, we do a little custom work, custom spraying. That's kind of how I got going on some things was starting a spraying business and we slowly grew that, but then we grew the farm as well. And so now we're more focused on just farming and taking care of what we can when we got time to. And, and what uh, generation of a farmer are you? So my dad farms, but we farm separate. So I'm kind of kind of on my own per se. So not necessarily first generation, but doing it by myself. So kind of that way. Yeah. How did the 2023 crop year go for you here? It was it was really good. Planting went perfect. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Um, we finished planting May 3rd, which was the quickest we'd ever been done. And then summer, June was um, June was pretty dry. Like we, we were hanging on by a thread. We get a tenth here and a tenth there. And so we were kind of concerned with that, but it seemed like about the 4th of July, the, the, the rains opened, the Lord blessed us with a lot of water and it just, it just kept coming. So, Overall, no real big challenges. Um, when we got into the field, the combine, we were very, very pleased. You know, the, the corn, I kind of had it backwards. The more I farmed, the more I realized I don't know anything about farming. And I had it backwards. I thought the beans would be better than the corn, but it was the exact opposite. It was, it was a record corn crop, and just every field we went to was, was a record. Um, beans were a little more, little more up and down, but yet again, still a record bean crop for my farm. Um, we we did well with them, and I'd take this year every year. Now, if we could just get seven dollars for it, that'd be perfect. <laughs> uh, fall field work. Uh, what have you been doing here on the farm? So we got done harvest was fairly early. We started knifing some anhydrous. We started working some stalks down. Um, P and K is pretty well old wet completed. We got a little weather there, and so we're just firing back up here. Um, I was really hoping winter wasn't here to stay. So thankfully, the next week looks fantastic. So we're getting some lime spread right now. We're gonna work that in once that gets completed. We got a little more anhydrous to do. Um, it's supposed to warm up, so I'm gonna fire the sprayer back up and finish what fall chemical we didn't get done. And then after that, we'll um, we'll start doing some dirt work projects and just um, kind of go from there, te tearing trees out, just enjoying the good weather. Yeah, well, we wanna talk more about some of the equipment you have. Uh, might just tell the listeners what uh, you have John Deere wise in your lineup. So we got um we got two John Deere tractors, an 8245R and an 8235R. Um, we got the sprayer, it's an R4030, and then we have a 1790 planner. On the equipment side, uh, how has the John Deere technology helped you out in your operation? So, you know, it's kind of what I got started with. You know, I remember my first tractor I ran with auto steer. That's what's the fun thing about our generation is, is that, you know, I'm old enough to know what it's like not to have it, you know, to have markers and to have that old Dickie John monitor that you hope sometimes worked, you know, to now where we can literally see what's going on row by row and keep perfect accuracy of everything, plus the data management side of things. And so, you know, it's been it's been very beneficial and just just being able to there's a lot of yield in the little things, you know, and so being able to track that stuff and being able to look back and see like how things worked and how we did it, was that the right thing to do? You know, was that the right hybrid to plant? Was that the right time to plant? Was that the right stuff to spray? And so just having that information and being able to track it with the John Deere Green Star system and all that stuff, you know, has been just extremely beneficial to me. Looking ahead uh, in your years to come as a producer, are you excited to learn more and get involved more with some of that precision ag technology? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. We are, we are, we are very involved in it. The one thing that um, me and my, I work with a company and so me and my agronomists talk about all the time is that the more we dive into precision agriculture, we realize just how unprecise it really is. You know, we've gone to where we, instead of farming the farm by the farm, we farm it by the acre. But you know, my goal going forward is, is I wanna farm that 
farm by the square foot. You know, I want to be just perfect, you know, because there's, there's, there's just so much now that we can see it, it's just like, well, why can't we do this better? You know, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that in the years to come. Cause obviously just in my short lifetime, we've excelled so much. So by the end of my career, I think that's a very attainable goal. And also looking ahead, do you see yourself expanding more to maybe some of the more digital side of things, whether it be their mobile app or John Deere operation center or anything like that in the future? Yeah, um, absolutely. My thing is, is I, by nature, I'm not extremely tech savvy, but the good thing is I know somebody that is. And so, you know, it'll, it'll take somebody to kind of steer me this way and to show me that value of it. But obviously I like money. And so if I can see value behind it, that's the way we're going to go. You know, as we kind of wrap up here, Jordan, might review your overall experience using your John Deere tractors and sprayer and what the experience has been like for you as a user. Yeah, no, everything's, everything's been good. That's what I, that's what I grew up running was John Deere and stuff. Um, and the big thing nowadays too is serviceability. You know, we have, we have really good mechanics that work really hard, you know, cause at the end of the day, if, if I'm broke down and lose that time window, then all the all the neat bells and whistles in the world doesn't replace a good mechanic that is able to get me going and so i've had great experience with that great reliability with it it's very user friendly for you know me and my employees and stuff it's it's easy to explain and i've just been so familiarized with it it helps me as a manager being able to walk somebody through that's new to the operation well, Jordan, thanks a lot for sharing some of your experiences and stories here yeah. with us and joining us here on Brownfield. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yep. Good to see you, sir. Yep. Uh, that's Jordan Bodiger, a Northwest Missouri farmer, and this is Managing for Profit on Brownfield, a content partnership with John Deere. I'm Brent Barnett with Brownfield. <music>